Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. So, in this video, we are going to talk about a very important topic which is memory hoisting. And because of this hoisting behavior, we'll see difference between the normal functions, the function declaration, and the functional expression you'll also see the difference between a function and a class okay and there are many more places where we find the difference so let's understand this topic so there are two words into this memory and hoisting so whenever we talk about memory in context of hoisting we are referring to symbol names what are symbol names these are name of the variables right name of the object name of the function name of the class all right so now what is hoisting hoisting means to lift up all right just like in the diagram that you are seeing that with the help of crane we are lifting this object all right so hoisting is javascript's default behavior of moving all declarations to the top of the current scope what is a declaration where name is equal to qa box that's a declaration where name is the symbol name all right or to the top of the current script or the current function okay and to understand this better you have to think it like you are preparing a meal okay so before you actually start executing that means start cooking that meal you collect all the ingredients that's the preparation phase so javascript does the same in javascript programming it first collects all the symbol names and kind of put them at the top or hoist them at the top that's called the preparation phase and then it starts the execution line by line so as you know in javascript we follow the the, the compiler follows the lexical order of reading and in that reading the first step is always the preparation where it hoists all the symbol names at the top of the current scope and then it starts with the execution so let's see that by an example and i'm opening the console okay so the console is open and here's the code that we are going to use so as you could see that there are five to six lines of code that I've written in here and this is one variable that I've created and this is a function declaration function so you could see that this function has a name and this variable has a name so these are our symbol names so in the preparation phase what will happen is the JavaScript compiler reads through all these lines of code and pick up all the symbol names and lift them to the top and then it goes back again to the first line of code and starts the execution so in this particular case if you could see that i'm using the console.log at the top and inside that i'm referring to a variable which is not yet declared and defined and i'm also invoking a function which is defined at the bottom all right so after this line so let's see what will happen if we execute this so i'm saving this and reloading the page and we'll see that we get undefined followed by the high high is the outcome of this function so what compiler did was it only picked the declaration for variable type however since this function is the callable function it can be invoked so it picked the whole body of this function okay and therefore when we executed this line of code we were able to see the response pretty much like this particular function is written at the top and then we have made the call however in case of variables it has only 
declared it so something like it has only created the box the box is empty that's the difference between variable and a function okay so if we take it to the top and then run this now the variable is first declared and then we are using it so in the preparation phase this value would be hoisted right and this will also be hoisted but when the execution starts the first statement assigns a value to this variable and then we are using it and hence the result would be altogether different so now you see 23 and high right so variables are lifted but only their declaration is lifted but in case of function the whole body is being lifted all right so that's about this particular scope the same concept is applicable within each scope so if we do something similar in here and we say console.log and let's say we look out for a variable c and let me differentiate it by giving it within function okay and we declare the variable now where c is equal to let's say 35 and if we execute the program again so now you see with function undefined and then undefined and high so the same concept is applicable within the scope as well which is mentioned in here to the top of the current script or the current function so we cover the current function as well so this is memory hoisting so compiler first prepares itself then starts with the execution if the preparation stage is missing the execution will fail and that's all because of the way javascript compiler is designed lexical order is being followed all right that's about memory hosting thank you so much bye bye